So this is my Jaguar, and one of the things, if you have it long enough, you'll discover there's a problem with the sticky buttons to it. So today, I'm going to show you about how you can unstick your buttons. So as you can see, if you get in right here, these are just nasty, gooey, you know, obviously something you don't want to have driving around. Not all of them are like that, but, you know, they just, when you touch them, they just leave fingerprints on them. And today what we're going to do is we're going to clean that up. So, hey guys, if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel though, to help me produce more videos like this. Thank you so much. This is an area that I've already cleaned up. You can feel nice and smooth and um, there's no problems. So we're gonna try and do that for the steering wheel now. Tools that I found that were helpful are um, some isopropic alcohol uh, as your cleaning agent. Some Q-tips. And a microfiber towel to help clean up any of uh, the stickiness and uh, make sure it's nice and dry. So those are the things we're going to use. One of the ways that I like to dispense the uh, isopropic alcohol is to put it in a little container. That helps to get it on the Q-tip. All right. I like working around the uh, areas where it doesn't have the white. So just I'm just pressing real gentle, letting the uh, the chemical, the alcohol work. Just let it work in. And I'll go through a lot of these Q-tips though. I'll just uh, dip the other side. You know, dip off any of the excess and then apply. One of the challenges is you don't want to remove, you know, any of the printing on the button while you're cleaning. I've seen on uh, different articles on the internet, people will use all kinds of different things and they'll, they'll press really hard and scrub. And all that's doing is just, I mean, you're just, you know, wrecking your, your buttons. You may get the stickiness off of it, but at the end of the day... Uh, is it worth it? So if you damage your car and you're driving around with it all busted up, um, it doesn't matter that it's clean. So this is the way I've found. It's the cheapest way. You don't have to buy any special chemical out there. It's really gentle on your car. Uh, and then what I do too is just to see, I'll flip up a dry Q-tip. and I'll just work it back and forth and I'll see See how it's doing. So I got it nice and damp right now. The chemical is working. I've worked the whole button. So I'm using my microfiber towel and I'm gonna just real gently um, wipe it off. I don't, I mean, if I press too hard, I could maybe take some of the button, um, stuff off the buttons. So I just wanna work it really, really gentle. So as you can see, a lot of it is done. We'll still need to have another pass, but a lot of that is off. You can see some of the corners we're missing. Uh, we still have some stickiness on there. So we're gonna have to go and take a hit rate at that again, but oh, it's just so smooth. It didn't damage any of the white. Um, the button's gonna be as good as new. Uh, the one thing I would say, though, is there's certain brands, uh, Mercedes, this is a Jaguar. Um, I guess when it was made, it was for soft touch, and um, now they're all melting off. So this is a really good uh, trick to help remove that. I'm just getting back at these little, little spots that I missed. Work that in. Not pressing too hard. And then we'll dry it right back up. So 
some of the buttons are going to be really kind of hard to see those. So you, you may have to get out and take a hard look at them. But uh, you can just see how nasty this thing is, though. I mean, who would want to drive that? Especially in the summertime. And we're getting into the spring. and It's really not super noticeable. But um, when we get summer and it's hot, it's just disgusting. One of the nice things about the Q-tips is they can get just into really tight areas. And also the great thing about the alcohol is pretty much when it's done, it just evaporates. Like even if you didn't wipe it up, um, it just kind of just disappears. So there's no mess. Uh, so I really like using that. Here's the button before. And here's after we've cleaned it all up. And we're all finished up though, so it looks so much better now. As you can see, all of the buttons are taken care of. Um, I used the, uh, the towel to um, um, speed up the process a little bit. I dipped a little corner in the alcohol and wiped it just real gentle. Uh, it functioned the same as the Q-tip did, so didn't remove anything. So. For me, I'm real happy with it. It's basically a free uh, tool that you probably already have in your house to take care of your sticky buttons in your car. So try it out if you like.